Good morning during this Advent season, and we continue our daily devotionals with um, a gospel reading for you this morning from the book of Mark, the fifth chapter. We're going to look at verses 31 through 34. And his disciples said to him, You see the multitude pressing in on you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see the woman who had done this. But the woman, fearing and trembling, aware of what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Artist uh, Doug Murkey's masterful sculpture, Ruthless Trust, features a bronze human figure clinging desperately to a cross made of walnut wood. He writes, it's a very simple expression of our constant and appropriate posture of life. Total, unfettered intimacy with and dependency upon Christ and the Holy Gospel. That's the kind of trust we see expressed in the action, the words of this unnamed woman in Mark. For 12 years, her life had been in shambles. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all that she had, yet instead of getting better, she just continued to grow worse. But having heard about Jesus, she made her way to him through the crowds, touched him, and was freed from her suffering. Have you come to the end of yourself? Some people have when we think of what we've been going through with this pandemic and moving through uh, Thanksgiving and through this Advent and Christmas time. Have you depleted all of your resources? Anxious, hopeless, lost, distressed people need not despair. The Lord Jesus still responds to desperate faith, the kind displayed by this suffering woman and depicted in murky sculpture. The faith is expressed in the words of a hymn writer, Charles Wesley. It says, Father, I stretch my hands to thee, no other help I know. Don't have that kind of faith? Ask God to help you trust him today. Wesley's hymn concludes with these, this particular prayer. Author of faith, to thee I lift my weary, longing eyes. Oh, may, may I know and now receive that gift. My soul without it dies. Questions. When have you desperately clung to Christ? And how did God meet your need? Pray with me. God, thank you for your power to rescue me. Help me to trust you to meet all of my needs. Amen.